Hi, my name is Adriana. I am Jasenia. And I'm Clarissa. And I'm Susanna. And now we're, today we are go, we, today we are working on our science project, and we need to know um, where the water evaporates the most in the warm temperature or in the cold temperature. doing an experiment about water evaporation and the ingredients that we're going to use are our ice, two, two glass bottles with lids and water. The first thing that we are going to do is put water, half water into the jars. Then we're going to put on the lids. Next we're going to put an ice cube on top of each. We're going to lay one inside and then outside. We put water and then it evaporated. Like you see, it's not halfway anymore. And it reached to the lid and the, and the lid is cold because of the ice. And, and if we take off the ice and take off the lid, then, um, then there'll probably be, be drops of water. In the sun, guys, in the sun. Yeah, and so good. Yeah. And the reason that there's water right there is that because the water evaporated and turned into gas and and it it turned cold the lid turned cold and it turned into liquid again got to the lid and the lid is cold because of the ice and the ice melted and the water is, is cold and and if we take off the ice and open the lid we'll probably see drops of water and the water came from the evaporation that the water and it evaporated and it got cold and it turned into water again. <laughs> oh, this is right was right. It was right because the more the more heat then the more evaporation and the less heat causes less evaporation. <laughs> <laughs>